Chapter 4 Positions Learning Time A. Nouns and their position forms Read the following sentences 1. The bag of Ronit is on the table 2. The toy of Rhea is on the mat 3. That is the bike of my father We can write the above sentences in a different way 1. Ronit's bag is on the table 2. Rhea's toy is on the mat 3. That is my father's bike. In second set of sentences, you see we have used a mark. This mark is called epistrophe. The bag of Ronit actually means the bag that belongs to Ronit. The bag possessed by Ronit. So the epistrophe we have used in second set of sentences shows possession. B. Use of epistrophe. 1. To singular nouns, we add an epistrophe and add S. The boy, the boys, my uncle, my uncles, Richard, Richards, the fee of the lawyer, the lawyer's fee, the car of my brother, my brother's car. Let me answer. A. What do you keep in your bag? B. Which is your favorite toy? 2. The plural nouns that end in S. We add an epistrophe only. The boys, the boys. The lions, the lions, the school of the girls, the girls' school, the decision of my parents, my parents' decision. 3. To plural nouns that do not end in S, we add an apostrophe and S. Pupil, the toy of the children, peoples, the children's toy, the team of the woman, the woman's team. 4. Usually we do not use to show position form of non-living objects. We do not say the wall's color. We say the color of the wall. We do not say the desk drawer. We say the drawer of the desk. Let's learn. We add S to the singular nouns to show their position form. We add S to the plural nouns that do not end in S to show their position form. We put only two plural nouns that end in S to show their position form. Usually, we do not use S with non-living objects. Practice time. 1. Use an apostrophe to show position. A. The ruler of the teacher. Answer. The teacher's ruler. B. The voice of the boy. Answer. The boy's voice. C. The tail of the dog. Answer. The dog's tail. D. The knife of the chef. Answer. The chef's knife. E. The net of the fisherman. Answer. The fisherman's net. 2. Rewrite the following groups of the word using an apostrophe wherever necessary. A. The books of the students. Answer. The student's book. Teacher's note. Explain the usage of the apostrophe to the student. Ask the student to punctuate the sentences correctly and help them to form the possessive forms of the sentences. B. The guns of the policeman. Answer. The policeman's guns. C. The bats of the cricketers. Answer. The cricketer bats. D. The keys of the room. Answer. The keys of the rooms. E. The gifts of the girl. Answer. The girl's gift. 3. Put apostrophe wherever required in the sentences given below. A. My brother's school is nearby. My brother's school is nearby. B. The boy's socks went up to his knees. C. The bird's color is white. D. The tiger happy dead is endangered. E. The dog's color is black. F. Justin friend came to his house. G. Mag's dad is a doctor. H. Sumit's kite got stuck in a tree. I. The kid's toy was missing. J. My mother's office is far away from our home. K. The dog's bark was scary. Fun with grammar. Ask the student to write two sentences with the apostrophe missing in the possessive nouns. One of the sentences has the possessive nouns in the singular form and the other sentences in the plural form. They can then exchange these sentences with their friends and get their friends to insert the apostrophe. These sentences can then be shown to the rest of the class.